Join us as we visit Lyme Regis and we teach our newest crew member to swim. Hello. Well, we're going east today for a change and we're heading for Lyme Bay and the pretty little town of Lyme Regis. We are currently passing Seaton. A bit of a rolly beam reach, but we shall see what happens once we're at Anchorage. It'll be fine. Yeah, much happier up here. I suspect it's a bit hot for him. Yeah. Yeah, black coat in the sun. If you're in black coat in the sun. If you're crossing Lime Bay, beware the big fields of mussel pots. Although they are marked on a very updated chart, I think that the markings to show them visually are pretty poor, so beware. If you run into these, you would be in serious trouble. have a good sailing day it sort of reminds me for those June fans there's a saying in there traveling without moving sailing kind of reminds me of that except there's no spice Hello. <laughs> is that secret filming candy camera did you get the uh, swear words <laughs> finally we arrive in Lyme Regis. Now Lyme Regis is known to be a comfortable anchorage on a northerly wind. But this is not a northerly wind today so we don't anchor. We tie up to the pontoon. Hero likes it. It's a little bit bouncy but it's okay. The gods do not subtract from the allotted span of men's lives the hours spent in fishing. This is a tariff for all landed goods. Little out of date, 1879. Lime Regis is a genuine sort of place. No airs or graces, just a real little fishing town. This pontoon costs £22 per night to stay moored up to. There's no electricity, but water is available. It affords some shelter from the sea. And it allows you to actually walk into the town.
There's no river here, just a carve out of the coastline for the fishing boats to come into. People are genuine and friendly and will always stop and have a chat with you. I like Lime Regis. The next day, we head out, back home towards the River X. We anchor just off Seaton, waiting for the tide to take us into the X. So what are we doing, Neil? Ah, uh, we, it's a big royal we, I'm taking the dog for a swim in this refreshing water because we want a boaty dog and we haven't had him even paddling yet. So this is going to be a baptism of fire, but he needs exercising Badly, he's going doolally here. He's got loads of puppy madness and we've just got to put some exercise in him. So we shall see. There's a good dog, what a good dog. What a good dog. What a good dog, yeah. Good dog. <laughs> Can he swim? Dog. Is he swimming? What a Yay. good dog. What a good dog, yeah. Here's Maxine. Hiya. Come on. Good dog. Good dog. I got you. I'm right next to you. What a good dog. What a good all dog. All right. No trouble at all. Good dog. Thank you, Neil. Okay. Think, Pop. What do you reckon? <laughs> ah, shivering a bit now. Okay. What a good dog. Mmm, garlic chicken for lunch. New potatoes and broccoli. Yummy. Hi. Whim number two. See how keen he is the way he's trying to walk down the ladder. It's a good dog. It's not easy for either of us. There we go, good dog. What a good dog. Yeah, good dog. What a good dog. Here he comes. Woohoo! Bit of a current here he's having to swim against. What a good dog! Have you got hold of the lead? Huh? Have you got hold of him? I can see him. Good dog. Good dog. Yeah, what a good dog. What a good dog. I got you. And again, and again. What? <laughs> he liked it. He didn't dislike it. He didn't yelp or anything. What a good dog.
Eventually, the tide changes and pushes us towards home. The red cliffs of Exmouth come into sight. Join us on our next adventure as we head to the Channel Islands. <laughs>